The groundbreaking summit between the top diplomats of Israel, the United States and four Arab countries has raised hopes of lasting peace in the West Asian region. The summit brought together Israel Foreign Minister Yair Lapid with the Foreign Ministers of Bahrain, Egypt, Morocco and the United Arab Emirates along with the US Secretary of the State Antony J. Blinken. The six countries have agreed to cooperate on a new regional architecture based on progress, technology, religious tolerance, security and intelligence sharing. Though the US under Trump brokered the deal, the summit was an indication that Israel could now itself act as a conduit between Washington and the Arab countries. The summit also provided a forum to discuss disagreements and shared concerns about the war in Ukraine especially over currency and oil production. The United Arab Emirates has so far rejected U.S. demands to increase its oil production to help American allies find alternatives to Russian gas. Relationship between Iran and the other countries in the region was another key point discussed at the summit. All the ministers expressed concerns over Iran's behaviors across the region and the possible renewal of the international nuclear accord with Iran. Israel has been steadfast in its opposition to any kind of deal with Iran and wants the international community to heap more sanctions on Iran. Though the recent attacks on Saudi oil infrastructure by an Iranian-backed Houthi rebels do condemn nation from all the members the Arab countries did not agree to sanction Iran. While the US is keen on renewing the nuclear accord, Russia and China have backed Iran completely in terms of trade and also at international forums. Apart from this agreement on Iran, the summit members could not arrive at a conclusion on the issues of Palestinian state, something that Israel opposes vehemently. Nevertheless, the summit is seen as a great leap forward in Israel-Arab relationship that could lead to lasting peace in the region.